Hey guys, Grid Shadows here, and welcome yourself back to another video. So, I did say that I would show you the patch notes for land, so here they are. Um, now let's go through them. So, first off, starting off on weapons. Uh, the made gemstone weapons had their own rarity, with the benefits of being one rarity higher, which increased the damage up to magazine size, so they're higher than per lessons. I think. Uh, assault rifles removed the minus 20% critical hit damage penalty in assault rifles, so that's brilliant. Majorly buffed bandit assault rifle weapon types increased reload speed, fire rate damage for less magazine size. Oh yeah. Indirectly buffed the madhouse as part of the bandit assault buff. Thorbot and chopper. The chopper's Need to consume 4 ammo instead of 6 and give it 10% more damage. That's a tier 2 pearl. Buff the tall barrel to do more damage. Consume 2 shots. Set the cut blaster. And change the damage grenade. Their damage to grenade damage. 30% for some, 40% for others. Fix the tech assault rifles and gave them penetrating bullets. Removed all the penalties of the evil smasher and made it a bit. And a Above average assault rifle. Made the, the blaster's main projectile deal grenade damage. Buff the bearcat's damage by 100%. Fire rate by 40% and made it deal grenade damage. Rook damage by 10%. And consume 1 ammo per shot. Buff the seeker's damage by 180%. Jeez, I don't even know what the seeker is. That should be something to find. And doubled its fire rate. Buff the Ogre's damage by 10%. Buff the Shredder Fire's damage by 25%. Buff the Serum's damage by 180. Remove the Axiom Reload Speed Penalty increased its speed by 40%. Buff the Stink Pot's damage by 50% and made it deal grenade damage. Buff the Damn Cowboy's damage by 20% and increased the critical hit bonus to 50%. That has 400% more recoil. Either. Buff the boom puppy's damage by 180%, slightly increased its fire rate and made it deal grenade damage. So I don't know what the damn cowboy, the seraphims, or the boom puppy is. Don't know them one. So snipers heavily buff the damage of bolt action streak and sniper rifles blue rarity. Indirectly buff the buffalo as part of the bolt action jeep and sniper buff. Fixed detect snipers, thank god. And buffed Hyperion Sniper Rifles to match others, thank goodness. Made the score to, yeah, score to match how it is in the pre-sequel. Made the Pitchfork consume one arrow per shot. Made the Longbow the correct rarity. Don't know what the Longbow's rarity was though. Eh? Moved the Volcano's damage penalty and gave it a bigger splash radius with 65% increased damage over time. Moved all penalties of the Trespass, oh god. The Trespasser gave it a dull barrel with and increase its damage. Move all the penalties of the Cherry Armies, don't know what that is. Made it heal for 12 cent damage doubt and increase its critical hit by 20. Move all the penalties of the Cobra and increased its damage and fire rate. Same to the Godfinger, made it non ball action. And to the Patriot and increased its damage by 40. Buff the storm's damage, fire rate, and damage over time made it made its orbs deal 30% of the damage down instead of the original 10. Buff the elephant's gun by 20%. Invader 70% and Hawkeye 58%. Okay, so rocket launches. A TDO sight and rocket launchers increase reload speed. Bandit sights increase magazine size. Dog sights increase. Damage, made TDR barrels on rocket launch give a tiny reload speed increase instead of nothing. Buff the Tunguster's damage by 30% and remove the self damage on the big radius. Thank god. Shotguns, fix D-Tech shotguns, replace the tidal wave with the flare from the PC sequel. Re return the Trister's blast damage to 100%. Give the Flacker 2 extra pellets and slightly increase its fire rate. Give the two Butcher 2 extra pellets. Buff the carnage damage by 30% made it always form 3 projectiles and 
and the vertically gripped possessor toy gives it massive recoil reduction. The deliverance damage by 30%, lands gave her, reduced the teeth of tome off its bullet speed, bullet spread even. Pistols majorly buff bandit pistol weapon types. Indirectly buff the glove as part of bandit pistol. In the box, well. TDL barrel on pistols now give a reload speed. Laser accuracy accessory in pistols to boost projectile speed by 40% instead of 20. Gave the stalker the Vlad off barrel and increased its projectile speed. Gave the Hornet 100% grenade splash damage instead of 80. Buff the infection damage by 200%. Increase the damage over time by 30. Buff the stinger's damage by 10% and increased projectile speed. Buff the unforgiven damage by 50% and increase its fire rate slightly. Buff the wonderlust damage by 25% and fire rate by 40. Made it consume only 2 ammo per shot and give it 2 additional projectiles. Removed all the penalties as a devastator and increased its damage by 20%. Buffed the Logan's gun damage by 20% and made it consume 1 ammo per shot. Buffed the judge's damage by 35% and give it the Jacob's barrel. Buffed the greed's gun damage, critical hit damage, accident and recoil reduction. So SMGs. Made bandit plasma casters shoot like other plasma casters with the same status. Made the Chulon not slag you and give it the Malawan barrel. Balance the bone shredder. Buff the health while its splash rate is by 300%. And its damage over time by, by 10%. Again. Uh, buff the Avengers damage by 20% and made the ammo regenerate way faster. Just having a drink. Hold on. Oh, that's better. Buff the actualizer's damage by 30% and increased its reload speed. Buff the emperor's damage fire rate and also made it swarm with a sight. Buff the commerce damage by 30% and damage over time by 60. Quadruple its elemental effect chance and give it the Malawan barrel. Field. Replace a cradle with the naught from the pre sequel. Replace a pot of gold with a big thumper from the pre sequel. Fix Deadly Bloom's Rarity and Skin. Fixed Amp Shield Rarity slash Partner and the correct effect on Amp Drain. Buff the Torque Capacitor Shield part and made it reduce explosive damage taken by 50%. Gave the Love Bomb for the Purple Bandit Skin and remove the friendly damage. Made the Whiskey Tango Foxtrot not harm you, spoiling extra projectile from the original three. Have more damage and higher chance to spawn them. Stable torches slow you down less from 80 to 40% and reduce the half penalty. Made high terramorphous never spawn with bad parts and it has a higher chance to get the grander prefix. Reduce the hoplite's health penalty. Buff the evolution space healing rate by 5%. Neogenitor's healing rate by 3% buff. Buff the crack sash, buff the punchy's damage, buff the sponge, buff the impaler's damage, buff the shield capacity and recharge rate, the manly man shield, reduce the curse effect, massively increase the damage doubt, and made it so you're completely immune to explosive damage. Grenades, double the projectile speed on homing grenades, increase transfusion grenade, healing projectile speed by 50%, that's, that's really good. Made the O negative come in for zero fuse time. Fuse says it's one, but it's actually zero. Buff normal TDO and bandit grenades damage by 33%. Buff the leeches damage by 33%. Made slag grenade slag more reliably. Reliably. Whatever. Made the contraband skyrocket scale up to OP8 now. Made the rolling thunder not damage you and increase its flash radius. Relics. Made the ludicrous. Ludicrous opportunity to be a flat movement, 30% to 49. Made the melee damage relics multiply instead of adding it. Buffed the might of the service to make it worth it. Buffed the moxie's endowment experience increase. Buffed the blood of the service. Buffed the deputy's damage, badge damage, scale value and base value. 
With the vault and his relic chance to drop blues from 5% to 7.5. What the relic does is just buff the blue drop relics for us whites. Buff the blood turn morphers to 8% health generation. Buffed and fixed the passives of each slower turn morphers come for each character. So here we go, we're going on to class mods now. <coughs> the Axton, fixed rifleman, engineer, tactician, and legendary engineer not boost in battlefront correctly. Legendary Reinder Com now boost onslaught properly. Grenade Com now boost battlefront instead of impact. Specialist Com now boosts onslaught instead of for forbearance and passively increases shotgun damage and accuracy now instead of SMGs. Pointman Com now boosts grit, preparation, and Able and has multiplicative health bonuses. Salvador, legendary titan com now boosts ain't got time to bleed and sexual trionosaurus instead of out of bubble gum and locked and loaded. Beast com now boosts ain't got time to bleed instead of just got real and has multi multiplicative health bonuses. Titan Com now for sexual Trinosaurus instead of out and bu out of bubblegum. <coughs> Zero Coms. Legendary Sniper Com now boosts fast hands instead of kill confirmed. Spy now boosts cooldown rate up by a lot more. I can't wait to see that. Survivor Com now boosts inertive instead of resurgence and as multiplicative bonuses. Gage. Legendary Anarchist. Com now boosts better half instead of strength for five gorillas. UI currently broke, broken but still busts the skill. Anarchist. Com now boosts Maryland smaller, lighter, faster and a better half instead of fancy mathematics, definitely above, above and annoyed android. Sweetheart. Com now boosts fancy mathematics instead of more pep. Punk com now in, now boosts death from above instead of annoyed android. Prodigy com now boosts smaller, faster, lighter instead of. Three coms. Crunch com now boosts salt the wound instead of blood trance. Slap com has multi multiple health bonuses. Then there's no Maya coms really. Visuals credit yeah. Gave the unforgiven an actual skin. Gave the butcher. Skin, Avenger skin, Tungusta skin, Stalker, Thorbar, Bearcat, Storm, Sloth. Need the not the same skin as in the pre sequel, minus the decals. Big Boom Blaster has a proper tort lock now instead of doll. Gave Flay the same skin as in the pre sequel. Gave the Infection a new skin, the Interface a new skin, the Lead Storm a new skin, the Devastator, and the Cobra a new skin. Now here we go, loot, drop, and general changes. Iridium Torque Token and Sarah Crystal's auto pickup, thank god. Need the threshold for blue and above gear to spawn level 1 instead of level 7. This means you'll get good quality gear at the beginning of the game instead of after flint. Need all raid boss quests now give you more experience in a random legendary. Need the raid and drop heat reward being e tech instead of a purple. Made Lilith gives you a choice of a blue common true vault hunter mode after and above after the Hunt in the Fire Hawk quest. Made Roland, Made Roland give you a blue common instead of green in true vault modes mode after Bright Lights Flying City. Grandma Flexiton Story gives you a random purple shield instead of one dollar. Made the Bandit creature at, and Happy and Slaughter around five repeatable. Michael Memorial gives you purples all the time now and has a 10% chance to give you a legendary. Made Mocked have a 20% chance of a bad touch instead of a good touch. Bar kids have an increased chance of evolving. Ooh. The Mirrorous Invincible has an increased chance of spawning single player from 10% to 20%. Wow. Ho ho ho. Increased the shield, health and damage of Super Badass Stalkers and gave it this. Gave it a super badass blue pool instead of a badass pool. Increased the shield health and damage of Hurley and sped up its barrel for an animation. Increased the chance to spawn Omendom and Doc spawning from 1% to 
Increased damage over time in Ultimate and Vault Ultimate made by 150%. Beat Midgets now drop legendary shields, made Jimmy Jenkins have the Ultimate Valus Loophole and then Loot Midgets. Ooh! Made the Becca, Godfinger, Wonderlust, and Carnage tier 2 pearls, or gen 2 pearls, be considered in the pearl and will drop loophole. Oh my god, what the hell should drop gen 2 pearls as well now? Son of Quarmax, Invincible has a 10% chance to drop any pearl lessons in the game, starting not in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, which is the Invincible Son of Quarmax. Up here is the Invincible. Master Key the Invincible and Paralysis to drop his Seraph item by 10 percent and added every Seraph item from the respective DLCs into their leap pool. Exodius, Veracis, and Dominum and Dark have a chance to drop the second generation of all legendary cons now. Made anybody with a rare spawn chance have a 20% chance to drop their legendary instead of 10. For example, King Mong, Donkey Mong, whatever. Increase the chance for a Warlord Slog to drop the Ogre. Remove the two heads from Warrior's Loot Fall and made it less crowded. Exodius the Invincible now drops a Lady Fist, Flare, Hive, and Twister. Has a 100% chance to drop either of them, including the chopper. Now, Dexty is a bitch, so that's actually quite good. Early has a 33% chance to drop the Sandhawk and Pimper now. Now, oh yes! That allows the Saurus Rex can drop 15 Tort tokens and have a chance to drop any of the Tort legendaries. Gold Golem has a rare chance of dropping the Grog Nozzle. And remove the Infinity and Deliverance from his loot pool, make it less crowded. Our first Invincible drops the Fibber instead of the Kiss of Death now. Improved chance for the Splitter Group to drop a Storm from, from 2.5 to 7.5% per rat. Bonehead has a chance to drop the Shredder Fire. Boom Boom has a chance to drop Guy Rocket. The Sheriff Lynchwood has a chance to drop the Fire Bee. Generator Clayton has a chance to drop the Flame of the Firehawk. Henry, the Love Thumper. Wilhelm, Bouncing Bonnie. Donkey Mong, Big Thumper, Mr. Bony Pants, Guy to drop the Gub. Muscles, Drop Sledge Shotgun, Spider Pants, Quasar, Bad Mole, Deliverance, Mad Mike, Drop the Madhouse, Prospector Zeke, Drop the School, Masher, Jack and Stein to drop the Conference Call, Arizona to drop Flacker. Inco has a chance to drop the beach. Flinter has a chance to drop the volcano. Flinter, oh, the one, the fifth rat. Gribbles drop the ba bada boom. Wound Spike, the Maggie, Motor Mama, the Baby Maker. God Lies have a chance to drop a legendary weapon now. Iron God now drops three gemstone rarity weapons. DJ Tanner has a chance to drop the sham. Bosco has a chance to drop the hive. First Pirates can drop Captain Blade's gear. Badass Pirates have a chance to drop the stink part. Character skill is Axton. Increase the base damage of Axton's turret for 20% and give it more 20% more fire rate. Swart crisis management and resource orders. <laughs>